The most common idea by which we try to improve our lives is to chase after external materialistic goods, which in turn help us achieve some sort of validation from the people around us, while at the same time avoiding doing or striving for things which even though might be good for us, do not gain any approval from other people. We constantly want more money, a bigger house, another iPhone. It's a never-ending loop of trying to be perfect. While stuck in this endless loop, we become unable to live on our own terms in fear of being ridiculed by the society. We therefore find relief in watching movies with anti-heroes, vigilantes or rebels as main characters who live outside the tightly secured norms of our modern day life. Subconsciously we desire for something to happen just so we could be freed from the shackles of continuous consumerism. As a result, a destruction becomes an attractive alternative. Every time the plane banked too sharply on takeoff for landing, I prayed for a crash or a mid-air collision. This attraction is a desire for freedom in disguise. In the movie Fight Club, the main protagonist is a perfect example of a man stuck in a lifestyle of conformity and materialism. One day after meeting his alter ego Tyler Durden, he blows up his field with expensive IKEA furniture apartment and moves into an abandoned house without any luxuries of the modern day life. The stairs were ready to collapse. I didn't know if he owned it or if he was squatting. Over the course of the film, he starts to stand out from the masses. He dresses differently, he gets into underground fights and stops being a yes man at work. In such a way, through destroying his material possessions and exposing himself to discomfort, he introduces destruction into his life, more specifically, the destruction of his old consumerist self. At one point in the movie, Tyler presents us with yet another form of positive self-destruction. He goes to a store and holds one of the employees named Raymond at the gunpoint. Raymond says that his dream was to become a veterinarian, but he quit studying for it because it was too hard. Tyler threatens him that if he doesn't start working towards becoming a veterinarian within six weeks, he will find and kill him. Just like that, Tyler destroys Raymond's laziness and weakness, which held him back from fulfilling his dreams. What was the point of that? Tomorrow will be the most beautiful day of Raymond Chaos's life. His breakfast will taste better than any meal you and I have ever tasted. How many of us are like Raymond, afraid to get out of our comfort zones, always settling for less just so we don't have to experience any struggle? How many of us choose to be slaves to our iPhones and other external goods? Becoming the best version of ourselves requires not only the traditional self-improvement, but also a small dose of self-destruction. Only after destroying ourselves can we truly start to live. And as always, remember to keep your balls full and your stomach empty.